Hey, Betty Bear from Betty Bear's Nomadic Travels. And as you can see, our voices don't match. I messed up with the camera, the microphone. I don't know what I did, but I got no volume halfway through this whole video. So I'm at Sea Lions Caves down the Oregon coast. I'd sure like you to come join me. Well, this western deck that you're looking at is about 300 feet um, above sea level, making it the popular whale watching post. Orcas are seen migrating once a year, but the gray whales are seen almost all year long. So if you get a chance to stop here, bring your binoculars. It's amazing. Well, this is the um, entrance, the path that goes down to the elevator. Um, years ago, it was a 1,500 foot long trail and it was a, a, the original entrance to the cave in 1930. And Highway 101 was just gravel at the time. But in August of uh, 1932, the word got out about the attraction and it absolutely blew up. In 1961, the elevator went in. It took three years to build, but by June of 1961, um, the Otis Elevator Company had built the elevator and it was 208 feet down. And in 2016, the new elevator went in. And this is the one you're looking at right now. Sea Lions Caves were discovered in 1880 by a local seaman. His name was Captain William Cox. He entered the Western Channel in a small boat on a calm day. Captain Cox purchased the land in 1887 from the state of Oregon and his family has owned the property until 1923. You know, the Sea Lions Caves is the America's largest sea caves. And it sits here 11 miles north of Florence, Oregon on Highway 101. Well, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to see the sea lions because we are a little bit early to see them. In late fall and winter is when they nest in this area. And um, the sea lions cave here is the largest population of the stellar sea lion in the West Coast. The formation of the caverns began about 2.5 million years ago. It now soars to the height of a 12-story building and stretches the length of a football field. In the Guinness Book of Records, the Sea Lions Cave is recorded to be the largest sea cave in the United States. The stellar sea lion reaches up to 11 feet long and can weigh up to 2,500 pounds. They feed on over 100 species of fish. They have a blunt face and a boxy bear-like head. The female stellar sea lion is much smaller than the male. They can range up to nine feet in length and they are approximately a thousand pounds. Here's a picture of the original public entrance of the, uh, the cave itself. And this is the Heketa Head Lighthouse it was built in 1894 and it stands 56 feet tall. It shines a beam visible for 21 nautical miles, making it the strongest light on the Oregon coast.
And here's one last shot of this beautiful facility. Wow. You know, it's sad we didn't see any sea lions, but you can just imagine them all out there in their protective little hidey hole. Beautiful. was a short little video on the sea lion cage. Kind of a bummed out a little bit. We didn't get to see any sea lions, but I did get some shots of it last night, so I'll, I'll put those in there. So sunset was beautiful. I'll put a shot of the sunset in there too. And thank you guys so much for watching this little snippet. If you did like a little bit of it, give me a little thumbs up, hit that little bell icon and subscribe to the channel if you can. I appreciate it. Thank you guys. I'm heading up north on Highway 101.